Oh, it's not going well, Dad. I've been seeing this wrapping cutter advertised in all my socials, and you can find them fairly cheap online. I was going to design one myself, but fortunately, this one was climbing the trending list over the last week on printables, and it even has a short version, so let's try it out. With the short one, I sunk it into the bed when I was slicing it, so it's even shorter than the downloaded version. We can see how little filament we could actually use, but they printed out great. I had a few issues with getting the blade into the model. I had a few spare ones around that weren't quite right, and I thought that might have been the issue. You definitely need the number 11 Exacto style blade. Even that was a little tricky. As always, links in the description below to everything I've used. The blade slot is quite tight and I ended up heating the blade to get it in. The walls are pretty thin so you need to be careful if you try the same thing. You can easily melt and go straight through the walls. The good thing about doing it this way though, it gives it a really tight fit. On both of the prints I did, there's a weak point that I had trouble with and snapped both of them off. I'll show a tip at the end to get this kind of neatly back together. I don't think there's really a need for it to be open and have it so thin at this point, so a good remix for this model would be to have it fully enclosed all the way around. The only limitation would be the size of the wrapping roll, but it's fairly big, enough for any roll that we have to fit in there. We did have a few fails at first and I got one of my daughters to help me out because she was keen to wrap some early Christmas presents. We had issues with getting it started and I honestly thought at first that this was a dud and it wasn't going to work, but there's a knack to getting it started and it's hard to explain. After a few tries you get the feel for it and get it started straight away. I found I got it to work better pushing it away rather than pulling it towards me, but I think it's more of a personal preference than it actually functioning better either way. So quick tip to get things stuck back together like this. Uh, to get this safety tab back on and secure, I heated up a blade with the flame. The blades are really thin, so they heat up very quickly. Because it's flat, you get like a smooth sort of finish if you drag it across. I did it all the way around for the best fusing of the plastic back together. That plastic is gonna be warm and flexible for a little while, so keep it in the position you want it to be. Of course, be careful with the blade when you put it down and the flame. I don't think I need to tell anybody that. But of course, I take no responsibility for anything that you do in your home. If you've got a lot of wrapping coming up this holiday season, I think this is worth a print. Now that we've got the hang of it, I can see we would be using this one quite a bit. That's it for another trending print this week. If you're still around and haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Get on it straight away. Come on. Thanks again and I'll see you next week.